or should I start? I think um, it's over 50% 50, 50 I think, uh, by the latest records that, uh, of inmates who I come across in prisons, and I've been visiting prisons for the last 10, 11 years, who uh, are in there who actually reoffend. And I think, how do we stop that from happening? And I think the writers' program, uh, people like myself going to prisons, is part of that process. I think most of my job is, is to try and convince inmates that um, there is a, n another choice. You don't have to reoffend. There are other outlets. There are other, there are other skills you can learn to stop reoffending and stop uh, returning to those prisons. And I think writing and reading is such a crucial factor in, in all this. I, I really do. And I, I go back to the time when I was um, 18, just after the, um, the Brits and Riots in, of 1981, and I was at my lowest ebb. I didn't really think there was a way out for me. I felt that after I served my term, I would probably um, return to the streets and do what I was doing on the streets and perhaps going back to, um, to a sentence. But what really changed my mind was um, this older uh, gentleman, a Rasta guy, and he basically um, threw um, a copy of the Black Jacket at my head and he said, read that. And um, I read that. And it wasn't just the, um, the story that gripped me. What really gripped me as I went on my reading, this mad uh, reading program that I had for the next four or five months, but I really actually believed that, hey, um, maybe there is other choices out there. Maybe I do not have to um, return to what I was doing on the streets. Maybe um, I can contribute to society in some kind of way. And I think reading and writing literary skills are so crucial, even for today. Very, very specifically for today. I really believe that. It's like, um, if like a puzzle. And I believe that reading and writing forms part of that puzzle for the uh, identity kit that um, inmates might need so when they um, finish their sentence, they can go back and say, OK, this is the puzzle. What else do I need to do to complete that puzzle so to improve my choices so they can stop returning to the lives that they once were um, committed to? You know? And um, I just think that's so vital. And um, writers like myself and Mark Haddon, Coulter Newton's in the room. We've been doing this for quite a while now, and uh, um, some of the results have been as astounding. Um, when I've had time to actually work with prisoners over a length of time, say four, six, eight weeks or so, the, the results of me doing workshopping with prisoners and them saying to me that, um, Alex, I actually believe I can offer something now, that I can uh, maybe concentrate on something now and uh, achieve something. I think that's a, that's a great thing. And it doesn't necessarily mean that these inmates are going to uh, pursue um, a life of writing. It might, uh, I remember once when I went to... Um, the Young Offenders Institution, the Heathrow Airport, uh, fell from, I think it was. I was working with a young guy there, and he said, Alex, I'm going to um, open up a barbershop. That, that was his idea after the, um, the sessions that we had. And I said to him, well, um, to do that, you're going to have to um, learn how to put in application forms or loans and go to the banks and this and that. You're going to have to learn interview skills. And I sat down with him one-on-one, -on -one and we did an interview, and he wrote down the questions that he might be um, asked and, and all sorts. So literary skills come in all shapes and forms. It doesn't necessarily mean that they just have to um, sit in the corner and read a book or read my book. It means that <laughs> <laughs> it means giving them confidence in the literary skills that they're learning to progress whatever careers they might choose. And that's so vital, I really believe, today. And so um, I can keep it short. I just think that um, we should be lobbying the authorities and government you know, to stop their short-termism. That's what they like to do, governments in power. It's like quick fixes. No, it's not a quick fix. It's about a long-term kind of investment that, um, for people to um, go into prisons of the arts and crafts and trying to influence the inmates, to try and to convince them to try something else and to improve the choices. Thanks very much.